Okay, so in 2019, we start to see smartphones getting bigger. Tablets are getting more powerful. But what if you need the power of Windows 10 and the small phone factor to get work done? Well, look no further. This product may help. What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And I have a 7-inch Windows 10 computer with touchscreen capability. And it's made by a company called Picago. It's here for review. So let me go on to give you guys my thoughts about this product. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the past week I've been using this Windows 10 PC, seven inch PC here. And it's been pretty interesting to use a small form factor like this. Let's go ahead and talk about the specs. It's a seven inch 1920 by 1200 IPS touchscreen display, which is really intriguing. It has the Intel Atom X5 Z8350 CPU with eight gigs of RAM in this. Uh, we got 128 gigs of internal storage and you have memory card support. The weight is uh, 539 grams and this computer is running Windows 10, the S version, believe it or not. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that in this review. All right, guys. So here it is. This is the seven inch uh, computer here. And let me give you my thoughts about this. Let's go on and talk about the keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is pretty nice. Uh, it's not too scrunched up. It's very much spaced out here. Uh, and I like it. I really do like the double space bar here. Uh, you do have your action button here and you do have your mouse pad, which is really neat, really neat. But if you really want to get some work done here, I would always advise to get an external mouse uh, with this device here. Uh, now it's full touchscreen, it's very bright uh, and it works really well. Now, one of the things that I thought that this computer would be is with a lot of these computers that I got in the back here. It's going to be pretty slow and stuff like that. Even with the Atom processor running Windows S, it runs really fast. Uh, now, when we talk about fast, we talk about you know, fast as it can be with this processor with eight gigs of RAM. I'm glad that they put eight gigs of RAM in here because of the performance woes if it had anything less than eight gigs of RAM. Uh, so let's go to talk about the peripherals on the side really quick. Uh, so what we have here is we got a USB type C here. All right, so we got USB type C, we got USB, uh, we got uh, HDMI here, we got uh, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, then you have a SD card slot right there, as you can see that right there, which is pretty nice, right? I mean, it's nothing on this side, but you do have all your peripherals on this side. One of the unique features of having something like this is that uh, you can always connect an external peripheral to it which is pretty neat uh, I don't want to show you guys this this is USB type C I actually made a video about this uh, on my YouTube channel but uh, when you connect this here now you now have a full HDMI uh, you got two USBs and then you do have a USB-C if you want to charge the computer which is nice so I like this and for a lot of PCs you do have to add on uh, some extra if you need some uh, extra peripheral so that is pretty neat now again this is running windows 10 s now let's talk about windows 10 s uh which to me it's a love hate child when you talk about windows 10. now uh if you want to download a full version of windows obviously you have to pay for it uh i 
but this is running Windows S. Windows S is that you have to download everything from the Microsoft Store. Uh, and it keeps the device more secured and everything, stuff like that. Uh, but if you want to download any EXE programs, unfortunately, uh, you can't download any EXE programs. So if I want to download DEX here, uh, if I go to samsung.com and I have for Windows, and if I want to download DEX, it's gonna prompt me and let me know that unfortunately you can't download anything here, EXE programs, because it's the S version. And if, if I review it here, it's saying it's downloading. Uh, and then once it download, uh, it will prompt me to let me know that uh, unfortunately you have to download the full version of Windows if you want to run EXE programs. So that's a that's a pro and con with this uh, computer here that if you want to uh, download any EXE programs, you definitely have to download the full version of Windows as you can see for security and performance. Windows 10 S mode um, runs Windows verified apps. So everything that you do on this PC, you have to run through the app store, which is not a bad thing. You do have a lot of computer-based apps in the app store. All right, so I opened up the Word document here and believe it or not, uh, my intro and the beginning of this video was all typed here on this PC. So as you could tell, uh, I was I typed up my whole intro here uh, for my voiceover and uh, the latency as far as the touchscreen is pretty good here. The typing experience is really good, especially for a small form factor like this. Uh, and when you're typing it, yes. So it is pretty good. It's very low latency and it works very well, especially if you want to get work done on Word or, or, or if you want to do an Excel spreadsheet or anything like that. So when it comes down to it, yes, you definitely could get some work done here with this computer, especially if you need to type a lot of things on the go, crank out some emails or, or do a lot of things here in between. Let's go and talk about battery life. All right, so the battery life on here has been really good. I am shocked and surprised that uh, I've been running this here pretty much all morning without, uh, you know, without charging this device. And I got 79%. It said it's gonna go five hours right now based off of the performance mode that I have it. And I do have it on performance mode uh, on battery. So uh, battery life on here is pretty stellar. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the unique features here with this computer, right? Not only do you have all the peripherals and stuff on the side, but this is full touchscreen compatibility here, right? So you do have touchscreen stuff going on here. Let's get out of there. So when you flip it over, right, it goes into tablet mode, right? So if you know about some of the uh, Lenovo uh books and stuff like that, that you flip it over and you can have full touchscreen and it turns into tablet mode. So overall, I mean, it, it it does what it does for what it do. Now, the only issue that I've had is that since you can only get apps from the app store, I was unable to get the Chrome browser here on this device, uh, but I'm using Edge and Edge works pretty good. And if you want to type out some stuff really quick, you can. So overall performance for what you get here for the, the processor for the eight gigs of RAM, I was shocked that it ran really good, that uh, that it had the low end processor in here. Yes, I wish it would have had like an Intel i3 or maybe i5 processor, but I don't think this is made for that. I think this is made for you pulling this out really quick to crank out some email, to crank out something, uh, to finish doing a project that you was already doing, to do a quick Excel spreadsheet, uh, to, to crank out some stuff right here. Uh, I think this is what it's for. I mean, it's very light. I mean, look, it's not like super lightweight, but for the size, it has a little health to it, but it's not overly heavy. It is thick. All right, so let's make sure we understand this. It is thick. You do have your speakers here at the uh, front. It is thick. You got your vent in the back. Uh, and uh, yeah, so as I was playing the game, I do have a little warmth here, right? And uh, but just really good. Now you do have a, a camera on here, uh, which is right here on the side. So the camera is right here on the side. So you can do video calls and stuff like that. So that's overall really good. This is Eric Comedians Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. 
about the seven inch touchscreen tablet, computer in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.